OData can also be used to create new items in your SAP system. The OData connector in Power Platform abstracts all the complexity to do that. Hello and welcome to this new playlist on SAP and Power Platform here on the SAP on Azure YouTube channel. In the last video, we showed how to read and update data in an SAP system. This time, we want to create a new object. We will again connect to the public SAP gateway system. So let's take a look. Okay, now that we've seen how to retrieve, read, and also update some information in the SAP system, it's now time to create a new entry. So again, in Power Automate, we'll start by creating a simple um, Power Automate flow. We'll call it create product. We'll use for now a manual trigger. Click on create. And this time we'll select the create functionality. So I'll search for our data again. I select the SAP OData connector, and now I'll use the create OData entry. So the first thing is I need to double check that the right um, connection is actually selected. So I'll um, go to my SAP system here. I'll select the product set. And now I need to enter um, the required information. In a lot of cases, and actually you can see here the same, the list of required parameters is quite long. So the first thing is in a product ID. I know this, this is something that I can um, make up myself. So I'll just um, use here HBR um, 1000 for type code. Maybe I don't know. So what I can do is I can already look at an existing product and that's what I'll do. So um, I could do this obviously via Power Automate, but now since I have this already open, I'll just copy and paste some of these variables. I'll take the type code PR, for the category, I'll take here this accessories and I'll do this throughout the whole list. So only the product name, I'll uh, use this new cool product, but for the rest, I'll just copy and paste the values. Okay, with this, I hope I have all the mandatory properties. So what I'll do is just click on save and we will run this flow. This looks actually pretty good. So the create was successful. Um, the, the the product with our new product ID is supposed to be created. So, so let's take a look. Let's switch back here to our OData service and enter here our product ID. And you can see we get something back. So, so this looks really, really good. Um, we were able to create a product via Power Automate directly in our SAP system. And again, keep in mind then, that if you would do this via Postman or via HTTP, you need to take care of all the token handling, the, the XCSRF token handling. You need to fetch before you actually do the, the call. You, make sure, you need to make sure that everything is in one session. And all of this is done immediately or directly by um, the SAP OData connector. Now, instead of doing this in a Power Automate flow, maybe we can also build a quick user interface on top and not hard code all these values, but actually um, do some dynamic um, integration here. So let's switch over to Power Apps. In our specific case, we want to build a very simple app. So I'll just here click on Create, and there are multiple um, ways how to get started. So for example, if I already have an Excel file or if I have a SQL database, I can easily use this as the foundation to create an app. In my specific case, I want to create a simple blank um, canvas app and we'll use actually a phone format for this because we need, we need only very few um, properties. So we'll create, uh, we'll call this create products. Create, and now we have this empty canvas here. So in order to create the product, um, we'll at least need three properties, the product ID, the product name, and um, a value or an entry field for product price. So let's do that. So with this, we have all the properties. We have the product ID with an input field called product ID. We have the field product name with an infield field product name, and we have a field price um, with product price. So the last thing that we need is obviously a button where we can actually then send um, the request to the SAP system. Now, in order to call our Power Automate flow, we obviously need to change the trigger of the Power Automate flow. Right now, we are doing this manually. So let's delete this trigger here. 
and add a new trigger for Power Apps. So we'll just select here this Power Apps trigger. And as discussed, we need three input fields. The first one is the product ID. The second one is the product name. And the third one is actually a number. It's the price, the product price. So these are the properties that we need to map then to our OData service. So for the product ID, we want to replace this value with the product ID that we're getting from um, our Power App. The same thing for the name. And finally, for the price. So now we are getting the dynamic values from our Power App. So if I save this, and when we're switching back to Power Apps, you can see here on the left-hand side, there's this Power App integration, Power Automate integration. So I can click on this, I can click on Add Flow, and now you can see our Power Automate flow, the Create Product Power Automate flow that we just created. With this, now it's connected. Basically, we can um, connect the button if there's an on-click event with our Create Product Power Automate flow. So what I'll do is um, we're here on the on select message. If I start typing create product, you can already see there is a um, create product run. And if I click on this, you can see there are three input fields that we are that we require text, text one and number. So what I'll do is I'll add here the result of our first text input, which we called text input product ID. The second one is TI product name. And the last one is our TI product price. With this information, whenever someone clicks this button on select, this um, Power Automate flow will be triggered. And then hopefully we can see that the product was created in the SAP system. So let's actually give this a try. We'll enter product ID, we'll call this HBR 2000. We'll give it a name, another cool product, and the price of 50. Let's click the button. So if we switch back now to our Power Automate flow, if we go here to the Create Products, then we can see that our flow was triggered. It was successfully triggered. We can see the Power App. We can see um, that the Create um, flow also worked. And with this, we have created our product in the SAP system.